Uh, my name is Alex Goh from Live Well Health. Um, I've got folks on my team as well here. Well, um, we've probably been to several of these type of sessions and it amazes me how when we show up, we, uh, we've probably been in industry longer than some people have been actually alive, right? So uh, uh, just kind of shows kind of our heritage here. Um, we got uh, turned on to this market all from different personal stories. Mine was recovering from a stroke. I left a, a director position out of a uh, Fortune 500 enterprise company because I, I felt like there was a much larger calling and a need. Um, I was thrown from a uh, basically a VP level path down to I don't know what to do, <laughs> right? And I got to believe there's more to this than just measuring vitals and blood pressure and monitoring how things are going, right? So our, our calling is more than just obviously to go hit the big Google payoff. Um, well, that's nice to see you. I think we have a much bigger calling, which is how do you serve um, nearly 20 million people that can live independently at home? Um, and we recognize that there are certain seniors that may not uh, be able to live safely at home, but let's serve the ones that can. I think David or earlier today mentioned uh, the opportunity to say, how do you extend care as look at this 20 to 1 ratio between beds and actual out in the community? When we looked uh, at the market, our current market scan said, you know, there's a lot of bifurcation and fragmentation in the industry. We found that there was a, it's a very high touch, high cost industry, uh, and it really didn't take over uh, the, from a technology perspective where I've been from. Uh, all of the enterprise level improvements on scalability and workflow and opportunities to take tools to make it more cost effective for the population we serve, right? And on the other side of this, we, we met a lot of great technology companies. And when we started talking to different providers, um, there's some that are in the audience that we've spoken to, that they came up with the same problem statement. They said, hey, look, you know, I don't need another new cool widget. I need to find a way to take my program, take advantage of all the innovation that is out in the marketplace. Frankly, I want somebody to take care of that mess for me to help me build a program together. And so that's where we were coming from, is being what market need are we fulfilling? We are not innovating a brand new blood pressure cuff or weight scale. We're gonna leverage, as an example, a leading provider of blood pressure cuff and weight scale technology solutions. We're not gonna invent a brand new tech uh, video conferencing. We're gonna take advantage of best of breed so that families and the physician, if, if warranted, can speak in a secure way. And that's kind of how we were attacking the problem. Um, the other opportunity we looked at when we, before we dove into the technology uh, development side, we said, well, what's our inspiration? And, and one of the models that I think many of you in the audience know is the village movement, of which Avenidas in the West Coast is one of the premier providers. And we were fortunate enough to have met with Lisa and the rest of the team to provide us a lot of uh, information and guidance around, you know, this is what we need as providers to a much needed community and how we could possibly uh, take advantage of technology, but we really don't know how, right? Because this is, they were there to go build and serve. Um, whereas we were coming at it from, a, we were a technology company and a technology platform, and some people don't even know what a platform is. Um, and we're going to attack and say, you know, we don't need to go sell the technology. What, prop, what are your biggest problem pain points? And so they, that's kind of how we attack our solution uh, development. In addition to that, I think uh, it was kind of cool to uh, hear Apple mention earlier. I, I promise I did not change my slide before <laughs> getting up here. Um, there were some technology inspirations for us too, right? And the whole premise was how do you serve 20 million people build a solution that can extend care beyond the brick and mortar. This is a beautiful facility. Um, obviously, they're going to have you know some of the best clients here, but there's also tw 20 times as many people in this immediate area that for every resident here, there's a 2x to 3x uh, greater need, right? So can we take the inspiration from an Apple? Can we take the inspiration from our hometown uh, Salesforce? as well as, you know, on a services side, uh, open table. Um, I will uh, take uh, a little liberty in that we kind of coined internally, how do we get to the four S's, right? Um, this word sexy, I don't want to 
you know, it's, I don't mean to be politically incorrect, but I, I was inspired when I visited a, uh, a large senior uh, community known as the Villages, just outside of Orlando, where you have 85,000 uber sexy seniors driving around in golf carts. I mean, these guys were rock stars, right? And, and I could tell, like, they had all the energy. How do we deliver that energy to somebody that might be lonely or isolated? Um, in addition to that scalability, I think for us, Salesforce, and which happens to be an embedded solution provider for us, we build our application stack on top of Salesforce for two reasons. One is that it scales overnight. Number two, um, it's ultra secure, right? So that to us was important when we started doing our focus group testing. And the last point was on uh, 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 secure services. Uh, we, we believe that uh, this needs a innovation beyond just technology. It's really a services innovation that we're trying to go through. So we, we build a model which is holistic in approach. And rather than walking you through a pinwheel, um, I thought it'd be better to show you a quick uh, video of how we attack the problem. Okay. So this is a pretty straightforward um, opportunity to how do you take a standard design, we've actually looked at different ways to uh, de develop the platform. Um, we went from the grounds up, we went and did a bunch of focus groups, testing purely around what type of colors. It originally used to be a bland gray, and then it turned into an all blue. A lot of people like the uh, jelly bean effect, you know? And the ability to, uh, I want something secure, I don't want to remember the passwords, can we just have everything in one spot? So we spent a lot of time building a uh, single sign-on, which is uh, cryptic for a senior, but to us it's a standard uh, technology vehicle to make it easy, right? So we've got our family there, we have services, LinkedIn, and this is a perfect example where we wanted to tackle uh, an army of volunteer drivers trying to coordinate care on behalf of a senior that needs it, and how do you plug in all those services as well as uh, turn on other services as the product evolves or the program or the given community center evolves. So that's kind of how we try to tackle it. In this example, this has the ability to turn the uh, different services off and on. So we, we wanted to think about from a family caregiver like myself, there are certain services my mom would never use, right? I want to be able to spoon feed her because I want to build her confidence. And at some point, she's going to be able to use all of them but you don't want to give it everything at once. I can turn those off. And as well as an administrator for a services community like here, you can start deploying different services. And for us, it's less about what the icon says, like transportation or home care. It's more about how do you take a representation of that and you're really doing workflow management and resource management. So that's kind of how we attack it. And then the last point on this before we skip it is we did integration with Google Maps because the business problem statement was there was an individual in the home office calculating every single drive. And then they would punch that into their QuickBooks to do their invoicing program. So what we did was, let's do the integration, make it really simple, and automatically link it to their QuickBooks to solve a business problem statement. Something that no one would ever think of in, in enterprise, but we're here to go deliver all this innovation to communities like here. And hopefully they'll want to rebrand it, they'll want to resell the opportunity to enable a much broader footprint in the marketplace.